Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another full case blaster break of 2019-2020 Panini Prism Basketball. This is random team break number 11. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double it up. Thank you to these folks who got into the action right there. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize each list. Four and a six, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got Kelly on the pole down to Thomas in the 30 spot. I don't think I copied that. All right, four to six, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good luck, everybody. Tenth and final time. After ten, we've got the Spurs on top and the Timberwolves on the bottom. All right. Kelly with the Spurs, Mitch with the Suns, Brian with the Clippers, Nick with the Bulls, one of your last Bob Mojo teams. Mitch, you got the Dallas Mavericks, Brett with the Pacers, Kevin with the Nuggets, Brett with the Grizz, Nick with the Celtics, Mitch with the Kings, Joe with the Pistons, Jeremy with the Rockets, Anthony with the Wizards, Thomas with the Sixers, Mitch with the Cavs, Mitch with the Cavs, Justin with the Pelicans, Kevin with the Thunder, Justin with the Hornets, Gabe with the uh, Knicks, Brett, you have the Heat, Lawrence with the Magic, Anthony with the Bucks, Brett with the Hawks, Kelly with the Nets, Brian with the Warriors, Gabe with the Trailblazers, Joe with my Lakers, they're playing a little bit later tonight, Lawrence with the Jazz, Jeremy with the Raptors, Thomas with the Timberwolves, we got Denver at OKC, tipping off on ESPN. So if you want to watch basketball, break basketball together, two screen kind of night, two screener. All right, so there you go. I'm going to pause the video, allow a few moments for some trades, and when we come back, we'll have the break itself. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everyone. There is some trade chatter, but no deals were done. So we were moving on. We are breaking. On the 21st, random team 11. There you go. List remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Appreciate it. We got Denver at OKC starting on ESPN. The sim I guess the symbolic second half of the season underway post All Star break part of the season. OKC playing some good basketball. Denver too. This is a good game actually. Be a better, just be a good break if I could open up this case. There we go. It's kind of an awkward sized box. All right. So there's a row of five right here. There's a row of five right over here. Box are kind of all over the place. Another row of five right back there. And then another row of five right there to make 20. And you can see all those on the top camera right over there as well. All right, we'll do maybe rip four boxes at a time. All right, good luck everybody. Sean Corbett asking if I've seen the side-by-side -side pictures of Swole Hey Otani. I see what he did there. Swole Hey Otani? Has he bulked up? Maybe he needs to bulk up a little bit for the rigors of a 162-game baseball season. Everybody, 
be a lot of fun here. I think there are some basketball games in progress, right? Let's let's get a score update here on a Friday night. We got the Wizards up on the Cavs, 66-61. Mavs up on the Magic, 64-52. Raptors cruising. They're up 41-25 on the Suns. Cavs, Wizards, Mavs, Magic are at halftime. About nine minutes left in the first half for the for the Raptors hosting the Suns. 43-25. Eight minutes left in the first half. Um, Knicks up 32-29 on the Pacers. And early in the first, Celtics up 6-5 on the Timberwolves. Then we've got the Denver at OKC game on the TV here. He's no Eric Thames, but compared to his original Angels photos, he's big in Japan. An old, uh, old rock and roll combo, wasn't that big in Japan? Well, that's good. Shohei Otani doing well, both pitching and hitting, which he should do both this year. And if you can do that across the whole season, that's hashtag good for the hobby. And... I mean, he might win MVP. What player is more valuable than a player that can both pitch and hit effectively? And not, not just effectively, but well. Yeah, Chase, these blasters are pretty hot. They're pretty great. A lot of great parallels. Some surprise autos here and there. A lot of fun stuff. Uh, yes, there should be one memorabilia or autograph. There it is right there per box on average. They're mostly memorabilia, but in a case, usually we see three three or four autographs. They're usually going to be relics. There's Casey Okpala, Miami Heat, Brett on the board. Obviously, the usual veteran commons don't ship, but refractors and stuff like that will ship. Terrence Mann will ship. At Zion, Instant Impact will definitely ship. And that'll go to... Who's got the Pelicans in this one? Justin. Justin Hyman with that. Nice, Justin. Might cover the spot already. PJ Washington, or a good chunk of the spot. PJ Washington relic for Charlotte. That's another one for Justin H. Dylan Windler. Rookie Silver. The Silvers are the, are the desirable ones. Especially for the rookies. And who knows? This guy blows up. You're going to be glad that you have that silver one in the, uh, the shoebox, Mitch. There's Darius Baisley for OKC. Sensational relic for Kevin Crouch and the Thunder. Thunder and the Nuggets are tied right now at 9 in Oklahoma City. Hachimura, one of the bigger names of in the hobby this year for basketball. Anthony with the Wizards.
There's another Hachimura right here. Emergent. Ricky Rubio, Phoenix Suns Rally. That will be for, for Mitch and the Suns. P.J. Washington Green. It's Admiral Schofield. Whoa, is that right, Kevin? Yeah. How weird is that? Kevin Crouch has both the Thunder and Nuggets, and they're playing each other. Well, whoever has the most hits at the end of the break, that's the team that's going to win. I don't think there's been anything significant for either team, right? No, no relics or anything like that. Goes to Joe and the Lakers. All right, another four boxes here. This is a good matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Denver at OKC. I think it's going to be a pretty close game. I'm on the Nuggets in this one. Plus one and a half points. Oh, well, you had a relic for OKC. All right, so they're going to win. But hopefully only by one. Uh, this is not a Joe guarantee. This is not financial advice. None of it is. It never is. It's always, 100% of the time, for entertainment purposes only. Always. That's just stipulated. Every day, I'm on air. Hi, Aaron. Uh, each spot, I think, was... Was uh, seventy nine ninety nine per spot in the thirty spot break in a twenty box blaster case. Michael Porter Jr. out there on the court for Denver. He's number one if you're watching this game. Um, I think his value for his cards have been pretty incredible. They were already pretty strong last year, especially for a guy that didn't play an NBA game. But I think if injuries did not befall him, I think a lot of people are saying that he, was, he could have been top five pick, top three pick, something like that. There's DeAndre Jordan, Brooklyn Nets. That's for Kelly. So then once he finally got healthy and came back and started playing, there's some great value for that Michael Porter Jr. from last year, last year's sets.
to Marcus Cousin. We just flashed by there. Just got waved for Mark Heath Morris. Lakers just picked up. RJ Barrett going to Gabe. We've got the Knicks. We got James Harden for the Rockets. James Harden going to Jeremy. Jeremy S. Jared Allen. Mieoni. Jalen Brown. DJ Augustine. We got Nasir Little. Relic for the Trailblazers. This will be a fun game tonight. Zion in Portland on ESPN. It's a late game. We'll be watching that here together. So join us for the group breaks and the NBA. There's Darius Garland, Emergent, Silver. That'll be for the Cavs. That goes to Mitch. Quindary Weatherspoon, silver, rookie for the Spurs. That's going to go to Kelly. John Moran, instant impact. For the Grizzlies, that'll be for Brett. John Moran, silver would be nice here. So have a lot of boxes to go, though. Kelton Johnson reveals a Victor Oladipo. Pacers. Goes to Brett and the Pacers. There he is. There's Ion. Markeith Morris, new Laker now. Brother Marcus is also in L.A. He's with the Clippers. Sekou Demboya. Pistons rookie going to Joe Andreessen. He's been playing some good basketball. His value has been steadily increasing over across the season. Next four. OKC okay, up 18-15. What else is going on here? Wizards still up 68-64, the beginning of the second half. Mavs up 68-62, also into the second half. Third, eight minutes left in the third quarter. Raptors with two minutes left in the first half. Still up, still cruising, 63-41. And Pacers up 43-38 on the Knicks. A few minutes left in the first half. And with a couple minutes left in the first quarter, Celtics up 22-20 on the Timberwolves. D'Angelo Russell has 10 points already. obvious in this Hotels.com commercial? Is he really being that obvious? I feel like he's just reaffirming what other people are saying. I don't know. I feel like they missed the mark on the whole Captain Obvious thing. Like they like the character. The advertising department like the character, but they're just not delivering the punchlines for it. It's a little half-baked. Right, 
next few boxes here. What's a great movie, Sean? There's Steph Curry. Warriors come out to play. That goes to Brian Crouch and the Warriors. Oh, Half-Baked? I've not seen that in ages. But I've heard from other people that it does hold up over time. Aaron, your grandpa gave you a bunch of old cards, mostly basketball and baseball. What's the best way to find pricing on cards? Uh, I would start with eBay. Look at sold auctions, completed items on eBay. And then you'll get an idea of what some of those cards may be worth. There's Kevin Durant, Nets edition, going to Kelly. And the Hachimura goes to Anthony V. RJ Barrett, Instant Impact. And Seth Curry. This will be for Gabe and the Knicks. Can find a hollow version of this would be nice. There's DeAndre Ayton, who's been having a nice year as well. That goes to the Suns, Mitch of the Phoenix Suns. And David Robinson for the Spurs. Tim Hardaway Jr. I thought this guy was going to win the dunk contest. Got robbed again. I mean, I had financial interest in the other guy, but... Derek Jones Jr., but I thought, I thought Aaron... When I was watching it live, I was like, there it is. Aaron Jones, Aaron Gordon, Aaron Jones. Aaron Gordon's got it. Another R.J. Barrett. For the Knicks, that's going to go to Gabe. Right next box. Boxes. Good luck. Trendsetter, who is an Aaron, says there are sure a lot of Aaron's. When did that name take off? In high school, you rarely heard that name. I think there are websites that you can look up somewhere that'll have like popular names of particular years. Aaron 
Ingram's a pretty common name, though, isn't it? There's a base Zion right there. There's Jeff Teague, relic for the Timberwolves. That's going to go to Thomas R. Looks like a little piece of thread kind of peeking out there, too, from the jersey. And there he is, Zion. Hopefully he does well tonight on national television. That's hashtag good for the hobby. Aaron Swank saying, you got 10,000 cards? Well, I think if you, if you uh, first I would just look up rookies, if you got that many cards. Look up, sort out the rookies first. And then just cards of a certain era, you'll just kind of get an idea that cards of a certain era just aren't going to be worth much. Unless you have particular rookies. You know? I mean, like, when you say old cards, Aaron, like, what, what, what era were you talking, Aaron Swank? Nikola Jokic, Denver Nuggets, that goes to Kevin Crouch. There's emergent John Morant. Regular base John Morant. Uh, I've never heard that. Is that, is that Jackson with a T? Is that how you pronounce it? Brett Foy with the Grizzlies will get both of those cards. He's add up, Brett. Might even cover a good chunk of the spot already. There's Jackson with an X and an S. Jackson Hayes going to Justin and the Pelicans. Jackson Hayes, instant impact. So Aaron Swanks and Jared Culver, silver. Nice. That'll be for the Timberwolves, Thomas R. So Aaron Swank is saying a lot of his cards are from the 70s and 90s. Is there any particular basketball or baseball cards he should look out for in that era for some of you old school guys? Let, give Aaron some ideas so he can look for those when he sorts them out. There's Thaddeus White, Chicago Bulls. Speaking of the Bulls, if you find, if you if there's an 80, 1986 Fleer basketball Michael Jordan rookie card in those ten thousand cards, that'd be worth looking for. That goes Nick Laplante, the Bulls' last spot mojo. <laughs> Sean Corbett saying Michael Jordan worthless. So do not listen to Sean Corbett. Don't send it to Jaspies. <laughs> Tremont Waters. Although, are we are we hitting upon a, a service here? Sean Corbett, should, should we should we be should we have a service where we uh, where we people can send like eight monster boxes full of cards over and then you sort them out for someone? Tremont Waters Silver going to Nicola Plant and the Celtics as well. All right, last handful of boxes here. I don't know, maybe uh, maybe you find a Don Mattingling rookie card from the from the eighties. There could be some. There's some value there, I think. And a lot of times you have to prepare yourself if you have to find 
like a really great card. You, at, for the older cards, you have to be prepared to get those cards graded as well. If you find anything that's uh, that's super valuable, but pretty much anything. I mean, anything rookies you can just pull out and just look up. Especially if they're like a if you're into sports and you're just like, hey, I know this name. Might be worth looking up. Otherwise, a lot of those commons from the 70s, 80s, 90s. Not too much value there outside of the big sports names, again, like Michael Jordan. Rookies, specifically. Twenty five percent, Sean. That's a, that seems like a lot. I think at that point people would just sort it themselves. You, Sean. If you if you have if you use uh, Sean Sean Corbett's <laughs> Sean Corbett sorting sorting services, Incorporated, you might you may just not you may, you may just lose twenty five percent of your cards and twenty five percent of the sales. I'd rather just do it myself at that point. Yeah, no worries, Aaron. Yeah, and, and do do a bit of your research. And that, uh, what I'm the the well, words that I'm giving you are very broad bits of advice, you know. But be sure to do your own research on on that particular era. And you'll get a better idea of like you know what sets were more valuable than other sets, and what years may have been more valuable. And then that can help narrow down your search when you're sorting through like ten thousand cards. It's worth organizing them though. Sounds like a good good summer project. Good spring summer project. Fall winter project. Good good project for the year. Hey, but that's that's half the fun though. It's like it's like saying, "Oh, like look at this treasure." Like look at this treasure that I found, you know, doing this little project. I mean, you can sort cards while you're sometimes if I end up visiting the shop on uh, weekends where I'm not on camera where I'm not live I'll end up sorting a couple breaks here and there while I'm watching a game or something like that Yeah, that's right, Sam Sure, You got to watch out. Sean, Sean Sorting Service. Never know what's going to happen with that. And he's taking a 25% cut off of the eBay sales at the end. Ooh, rough. Nice trendsetter. I was, I was going to be like, maybe you should just go ahead and... No one else is getting it. All right, that should be that'll be after select. You're gonna live stream your sorting. All right, there you go. You can live stream your sorting. It's Grant Williams, silver rookie. Save a Hachimura too, for Anthony and the Wizards. Not hollow or not silver, but. Still pretty good. Nick LaPlante with the Celtics. Grant Williams been injured, I think. Is he coming back soon? Is he back? But I, I thought I heard something on on the interwebs about something like that. Let's look at the Celtics Timberwolves box score. Grant Williams is playing. He's got five minutes. No points. One rebound. One block. I don't think he's been playing much this season, right? Yeah, I think this is his first game. No, check that. No, he has been playing. Never mind. I'm thinking of someone else. Tremont Waters, maybe? I don't know. What do I know? Back to the break. There, there's Tremont Waters. His, his ears are burning. There goes Nick LaPlante.
save a Kobe right there, too. And LeBron James, hyped. Silver. The second year LeBron James card, second year on the Lakers card, feature him in his uniform, in the Lakers uniform. Pre last year, they were still in his Cavs uniform, but Lakers logo. So these ones in his Lakers uniform, a little extra value this year from what I've been hearing. And Kobe, of course, always a treasure. Yeah, and everyone was scared of that TriStar, apparently. That's what Trendsetter is saying. That's going to come up after we do select football. Yeah, I guess everyone was scared. Jarrett Culver going to Thomas and the Timberwolves. I'll bet if, uh, what do you, so, oh, nice. Silver Jaw Morant. Grizzlies, Brett Foy, wake up. Nice one, Brett. Thanks for joining the break. You got lucky with the John Morant, with the randomizer. Let me get that bit of dust out of there. You got lucky with the randomizer. And I got lucky with the case. You get a silver John Morant. I mean, just like that, it'll probably go for hundreds and hundreds. And then if you get it graded, if that turns out to be a good hit, maybe we're talking talking thousands. Is Cam Johnson? Cameron John. I don't know why I call him Cam, like we're buddies or something like that. Phoenix Suns, Mitch with the Suns. Silver Jalen McDaniels, silver rookie. And we've got Kelton Johnson for the Spurs. Spurs relic going to Kelly for the Spurs. And all these silver rookies, even though they're, you know, Jalen McDaniels, not the biggest name right now, but you never know. I, lo I look at the case of like Victor Oladipo and how people are like, eh, <laughs> you know, but you never know. These players come out so uh, with just like a year of college. Some, I think it's just in the near future, they'll have even less experience. So it takes them a few years to really develop. You never know what's going to happen with these guys. Same with Brandon Clark, Silver Rookie. You never know. All right, there's Brandon Clark, Memphis Grizzlies, Brett. John Wall with the Wizards. That goes to Anthony V. Got a green Keldon Johnson. There's Jarrett Culver. Especially high picks like Jarrett Culver. Like You got to just cross your fingers and just set it and forget it. Put it in a drawer somewhere, you know. See what happens. Keldon Johnson for the Spurs. That'll be for Kelly. And the instant impact, Sekou Demboya for the Pistons, Joe Andreessen with that. So a little something for you, Joe. And there you go. That was a 20-box blaster. Random team number 11. Blaster break, 2019-2020 Panini Prison Basketball. A lot of words there. But thanks for watching on a Friday. This is Joe. I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.